With Pixplant, you can export texture maps, which are ready to be used as materials in other 3D applications. And this is done in the Export Maps window, which we can open by clicking here. In this window, we need to select from a list of presets for exporting to different applications. We have 3D applications like Blender, Unity, Unreal, and we also have some uh, renderers like Maxwell, Redshift, or V-Ray. So let's select Unreal. As part of exporting to Unreal, we have uh, several output maps, and each one of these lines is an output map. We can select whether we want to export it or not. For example, if we were not interested in an 8 map, then we can uncheck it. And uh, this is the file name. If we leave the mouse over the file name, we have this uh, tooltip that tells us how are the channels of that file assembled from which input maps. For example, in this case, the uh, base color opacity comes from the base color map, of course, the RGB components, and the alpha channel comes from the opacity map. In the second line, for example, we have uh, occlusion roughness metallic and the channels here. Red channel comes from ambient occlusion map, green channel from roughness and B channel from metallic. What if we don't have one of these maps open? For example, say, suppose we don't have an opacity map. Let's close it. What happens when you export is that the preset includes a default value. Since we no longer have an opacity map, in this case, the default value of one will be used instead. If an output doesn't have any input maps to, to use, it will be left uh, as unchecked automatically. So let's reopen the opacity map. Okay, there it is. And back to the export maps window. Next to the file name text field, we have the formats and bits and we can choose which file format. Which uh, file formats are available for each output depends on how many channels it has. For example, in this case, we are uh, exporting RGB and alpha channel, and only PNG and TIFFs can hold these four channels. For example, here we're only outputting RGB, and the list is bigger. We, we could also output in JPEG or um, EXR. And next to it, is the precision bits drop menu and you can select uh, whether 8 or 16 bits of uh, output precision for this line. After the output lines, the output maps, we, we have the base name and the base name is used to prepare the, the file names there, which, which will be written. And then of course we need to select the location, the, the folder into, into where it, these output maps will be saved. Back to the preset list. We have a number of 3D applications listed here, like Blender or uh, Unreal. And we also have some generic presets, which are, um, well, intended to be as uh, generic as possible and to be used in other software, which is not listed here. Most notably, we can also output specular glossiness workflow maps. So Pixplant works currently uh, with a, a metallic roughness workflow, but we can transform those metallic roughness maps into a specular glossiness. For example, in this case, we, we would be transforming the, the existing uh, base color and metallic maps into a diffuse map, also into a specular map, and we would be outputting a glossiness map from the roughness map. Pixplant also supports custom user presets. These are all defined in uh, XML files. You can also uh, have your own presets and they are listed here, if we click the info button here at the bottom. So if, if you go to uh, users, your username, documents, Pixplant export, you can also store there your own custom export presets. Right, so uh, let's export. Suppose I'm real and metal 97 export. And the files are now being saved. And here they are. Pixplant also includes a guide that uh, shows more or less what we've done, if you need. It's the export maps guide. And it's uh, available when you need it. 